Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I hope everyone is doing okay. Everything is pretty good out here. So uh, yesterday I did a video and it was uh, the number one thing to stockpile would be uh, rice. And I made some... Um, I made some uh, fried rice and that's why in a way rice would be the number one thing because you could make some um, fried rice or some rice with um, gravy or put some rice in your soup or make rice milk so that's why I chose rice but tonight the number two thing is beans and so you might be thinking oh great uh, beans, you know, and bacon soup, but don't forget um, chili. And chili can be cheap, at least the way I make it is. And so, you know, the idea of eating beans and rice, like, you know, refried beans and rice might not be too appealing, but chili is a bean, a bean thing. And so um, I have one hamburger patty, and so, we haven't had real shortages of meat out here. We've had some places buy only um, one package, but you could go back 10 times a day if you wanted to. So what I did is I packed my freezer full of various kinds of hamburgers. This one is part soy, I bought it at Walmart. And uh, then I bought um, this kind at Kroger's, which was cheap too, part soy. Anyway, they come up to about 40 or 50 cents each, so they're really cheap. Because I figured it would be better to have cheap hamburger, you know, have my freezer packed full of uh, cheap hamburger. And it seems to work out pretty good for some things, like chili. This will be fine. I won't even know that soy is in there. So um, I discovered, and these are 78 cents, these chili beans. I really, really like them. But there is also, there is also a brand of Walmart chili beans that's like 48 cents. And then uh, one can, and believe me, this is going to make some pretty decent chili. One can tomato sauce I bought at Walmart. And then I bought um, chili, um, chili mix at Walmart. But these, um, you don't really even need this with these chili beans, but I want to add about a, um, a tablespoon. Not the whole package. Well, the whole package would would be, so this is gonna make a pretty nice little batch of chili. And then in a few minutes, I'm gonna add a little water if I need it. So uh, the number two thing would be beans. And um, so, you know, if you had in your stockpile, let's say things start getting tight. And what this channel is really about is let's not even go there. Let's pack our freezer full of cheap hamburger, full of bacon ends, full of chicken, stockpile rice, stockpile beans. Let's not even go there. That's what this channel is about. But sometimes, you know, if things start getting tight and you have your rice and you have your beans, number two beans, and we're gonna go each day for a while until I decide to do something else. Okay, so, oh, oh, you guys. All right, I bought this rice 50% off, and I, I just spilled 25% of it all over the place. So today I had to go to Walmart, and so you might be thinking, do you have to go to Walmart every single day? Yes. I, one time I was taking this um, anatomy and physiology class and, and it was this doctor in South America, it was never allowed in America, 
This woman had an enlarged heart, so his idea was to actually cut off part of the heart. And, and actually, a lot of people died, but this one lady survived. And as soon as she got up on, and she was a hairdresser too, as soon as she got up on her feet, the first place she went was Walmart. But I had a legitimate reason for needing to go there. Have you guys noticed like these little bugs flying? Well, they were moths, and I kept going, where, where are these darn moths coming from? You know, I thought, well, maybe they're coming through the, the, the bathroom vent, you know, or something. I'm going to add a little, a little bit of water. But turns out they were coming from the garden. But so I wanted to get a spray bottle. And you know, now these days, remember in the good old days when you used to go to Walmart or the 99 cent store? And there was always like spray water bottles, not anymore. So finally I go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get infected with the you know what. So I bought this stuff and I sprayed it all over the garden. So when I saw on here, it says white, white flies, mildew, because it, this happened overnight. I go, oh, this sounds like my plants. Mites, hope not. You know, just like every bad thing in this stuff, multi-purpose fungicide, insecticide, mitide kills eggs, larvae, and I got it at Walmart for five bucks. If this doesn't work, I'll get the seven, the seven dust stuff. If this doesn't work, it's probably gonna work. What I wanted to do was put soap in a water bottle, you know, like five drops soap. So that's why I had to go to Walmart. But there's another reason I had to go to Walmart because in the morning I like to go to Walmart and I like to drink Diet Coke. And this has been one of the most miserable things about the you know what is you know you can't just like freely move around you know you can carefully like dash in and out with your mask but you know like just to like casually shop or no it's not a good idea so okay so I so I went to Walmart I got my uh, bug stuff and uh, while I, I think I bought this at Walmart, no, at Walmart, I got this. It was a damaged package. It was the, I buy this stuff anyway, non-fat non dry milk, and it was 75 cents off. So basically one of these milks was practically free. Then I swung by 99 cent store because I've been getting vegetables there, really cheap and fruit, you know, marked down. And so I got this dented package for 50% off, so 50 cents. And you guys, if you can get the hang of this, it's not very appealing, but it's going to protect us from not even going there. And I got this corn for 50% off. You can buy corn at, at, um, at Walmart for 50 cents, but that's how I got started on these chili beans that and they really make the difference in your chili. See how delicious my chili looks? Okay, so now I made some, see my waterfall like over there? This, tonight it was a rice, last night it was the, I do not edit these. This, what you see is what you get. So I bought this at 99 cent only for, for $6.90. It's not leaking like my other one. I'm going through the house, I'm doing the feng shui, if something is just like kind of wrecked, I'm throwing it away. Or if it's kind of damaged, you know, today I broke my little plate. This one I really hated. Remember this? Well, I threw it in the garbage. Because, you know, it's the feng shui. Everything broken, damaged, or soiled has got to go. And then I'm trying to restore um, order. And it's very time consuming. Um, okay, and so I have some lemons that I bought at 99 cent marked down. Let's see, what did I get today? I did, I got something. I got some kind of vegetables or something. I don't remember what it was. Oh, it was a big bag of oranges for a dollar. 
so this tea is going to play in in a few minutes because I made something yummy to go with it. Okay, now, enjoy life. The you-know-what or not, we have to enjoy life. We have to be very careful, but we have to enjoy life. Okay, so now, I'm working full-time, and what I'm doing is, I was a hairstylist, but I retired. When I retired, my idea was to work part-time on eBay, and so uh, what happened is, since the you-know-what has kind of like destroyed the first six months of the, the year, what we can do is we can kind of regroup for the second half of the year, and you know, so how would you do that? Well, you'd have to work twice as hard. I used to do it all the time. I used to work three jobs. I used to go to school almost full time, sometimes full time. It was very unpleasant. So the whole idea this year was not to lose any ground um, financially. So I have done pretty well and you guys have seen what I've done. I've done some unpalatable stuff. So um, one of the things I learned is I do what I do and I don't worry about what the other guy does out there they can do what they want to do right like on youtube the ads are not paying good right now so instead of reducing my play time or anything else i do what i do because i have learned through my long long life because i'm 65 that i used to work in low-end shops and they used to say, that's not how we do it. And I, I used to say, well, you're, you're sitting in an empty shop, right? So what I would do is I would show up and I would sit there all day, literally until my butt hurt and I would get some clients somehow. And then it was like they had amnesia and they forgot what happened when they were doing things their way because when I was there, I was always, always there, ready to get the customer. So what I do, if, if this is a 10 minute video, great. If this is a 15, 20 minute video, great. I'm not worried if people watch 60% of my video because the people who need my stuff are gonna watch it. And then I am gonna get some blessings and then people are going, gonna say, you're so lucky. And I'm gonna go, yeah, that's true. Okay, so. I, I'm doing what I do. I'm doing everything I can not to uh, lose ground financially. And one thing is, is I looked and I said, there is no way to retire at this time. You have to go back to work. So you have to look at your situation. And if you're not making enough money, you're gonna have to earn more money somehow. And so, um, you know, I'm, I'm selling some of my watches which I really didn't want to do, and I'm selling some of my sunglasses, and I go, well, you know, and you know, uh, when I couldn't get more accessories, I bought clothes. And uh, right now, I can't really go to the thrift shop much, but last Friday, I used my technique mask, gloves, I dashed in, I dashed out, and I bought a couple things, and I figure I can get away with it maybe once a week. We'll see. And then, you know, another thing is that is very important is your general standard of living. So I want to talk to you guys for a minute about standard of living. Okay, your standard of living is food. So you want to make sure your food is, am I going to be malnourished eating this? No. I have a carb. I have a meat. I have a vegetable, you know, with my tomato sauce, and I have some uh, tortilla chips. And then for lunch today, I had a chicken salad. So yesterday I had a tuna salad because it occurred to me if I diet at lunch and I eat a moderate dinner, then 50% of the time I'm dieting. Remember when I used to do the diet for three days and then off four days? This is a lot easier. So I had a chicken salad and I just made it like chicken, canned chicken, it could be any kind of meat, it, it could be any kind of salad, it could be any kind of anything as long as it was low on carbs. You know, mayonnaise, pickles, mayonnaise, you know, not too heavy on the mayonnaise. 
and mustard, you know, and uh, then on the side I just had like a one cup portion of salad with lettuce, tomatoes, grated carrots, and olives. And then I had two oranges. And so what I'm doing is I'm eating way less sugar. Not, not no sugar, not like a Nazi, but I'm eating as much cheese as I want, as much yogurt as I want, as much cottage cheese as I want, as much fruit as I want. Really tell you the truth, I want none. Uh, oh, you know how I got so fat eating fruit? No. Uh, the yogurt and the cheese is just to keep me from getting hysterical and overeating. As much vegetables as I want and as much milk as I want. As much, I was drinking, you know, in between meals, I was drinking some almond milk. It was okay. I wasn't suffering that much. My chili is looking good. Okay, so. I knew a guy, I want to tell you guys about this guy, and he was really, really starving. I mean, he looked bad, and I tried to do everything to help him. What I try to do is get him to help himself and go to the food bank, and, you know, it just looked awful. And at that time, I didn't realize if you're in a state of starvation, you're not going to be able to function. That may have been what was partially wrong with my friend, you know, she was just drinking coffee 24 hours a day. But anyway, finally he found a park that gave him each day a sandwich, some fruit, or a salad. So I thought, yeah, and, and he came out of it in a while. So I didn't ever want to forget that because that is easy too for lunch. So, okay, so now back to the rice and back to the beans. All right, where's my big spoon? So, you know, if times are tough, you might have to work two or three jobs and you might be saying, well, I can't find a job. Well, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make finding a job your job. When I used to have to find a job, you know, I'd be hysterical. And I would leave the house in the morning and I would go to every single place I could possibly think of all day long from morning and sometimes until night. And every single time I found a job and my son would come home and he, and he would say, did you find a job? And I said, yeah. And he would say, I knew you would. And I thought, oh my God, you have no idea. <laughs> did to myself today. It was not fun. I mean anything. Just get any kind of job you possibly can. It get, remember Hillary Clinton, get a job, get a better job? That was during my time. I always liked Hillary. Okay, and so I bought this is so much easier than making cornbread. So now, since I'm trying to watch what I'm doing, I'm just going to have a little bowl. I'm not going to be a pig. I'm just going to, you know, I mean, and I'm going to put as many chips in my bowl as I possibly can. And this is going to be good with my chili. Okay, so that's, that's my dinner. Now what? Well, look at this. Yes, I'm still on the muffin thing. Look at these. These will taste very, very yummy with my um, tea. That's why I made them. Walmart, and I just mixed them up and I baked them like cookies because yesterday I had to go to the bank. I had to go pee so bad and I went to Panera Bread and I bought an iced tea for $3.26. You know what, to tell you the truth, it was actually really worth it. It was delicious. I've been drinking the cheap stuff. But anyway, um, I noticed that they had, you know, the muffin tops, and I go, why couldn't you do that? Look at this. So number two thing is beans. Number one, rice. You can get a lot of rice and beans 
you know, the two pounds for a dollar. And so just if you're new or if you want to fortify your stockpile, just start out a nice big bag of bread. I buy the big ones. I'm going to be buying the big, huge ones. I already have the big, huge rice and beans. And then tomorrow is going to be number three. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all. Yikes, it won't turn off.